Hello everyone, I'm Catherine from the Therapy Notes success team. Adding a patient's insurance information is never fun, but that doesn't mean that it needs to be difficult too. Today we're going to show you how easy it is to use Therapy Notes to get your patient's insurance information recorded and ready for billing. We'll be covering how to share the client insurance form that is included with every Therapy Notes account and how to get your patient's information into their chart. Anyone in your practice can share the client insurance form but if you'd like to edit the client insurance form, first confirm that you have the practice administrator role in your Therapy Notes account. Before starting this tutorial, make sure that you've set up the basics of your Therapy Notes account and that you've enabled the client portal and client portal document sharing within the settings section. If you still need to complete these steps, you can visit the Therapy Notes Help Center for more videos and articles or contact our support team by phone or email for one-on-one -on -one support. To see what the patient insurance form looks like, go to the library section of your account. This section contains all of the documents your practice has access to. Each account comes with several forms immediately accessible within the library. If you click on the Portal Forms tab, you will see a list of forms created by Therapy Notes. You will also see which forms can be shared on the portal and which type of user can access each form. To see the contents of these forms, Click on the form name like we're doing here with the client insurance form. This is the client insurance form in its default state. Before sending the form to a patient, you may want to use the edit option in the corner of the preview section to make changes. The patient will always be able to include their insurance information, but you can change the text in the acknowledgement section to whatever your practice requires. Once you're satisfied, click save changes. If you've looked over the form and decided that you do not want this form to be shareable with your patients, you can prevent sharing by clicking Edit in the Form Information section, selecting the Portal Disabled option, then clicking Save Changes. For this tutorial, we'll want to share the document, so we're going to leave the setting as enabled. Now that the client insurance form is ready, we can share it with a client using a document request. From this screen, you can start a document request by clicking Share on Portal, selecting the patient, and adding instructions as needed. You can also add additional documents to send if you would like to. Once everything is ready, you can send the request by clicking Send Document Request. You can also send a document request from a patient's chart. The process is almost the same, but you would start the process by going to Patients, selecting the patient, going to the Patient's Portal tab, and clicking Share Documents. From here, you will need to select the documents that need to be sent, which can include the client insurance form. Just like in the previous example, you can include instructions and once ready, click Send Document Request. Now that the document request has been sent, we're going to jump into the patient's portal account to see how they can enter their information. When the patient logs into their client portal account, they will be able to see that a document needs to be reviewed. To access the request, they can either click on the blue text, the arrow icon, or the document icon. When the patient is within the document request, they can start filling out the form by clicking Client Insurance Form or Review and Complete. On this screen, the patient will be able to complete the Client Insurance Form, which will include changes you have made to the Acknowledgement section. From here, the client can choose to indicate that they do not have or want to use their insurance, or list the policies that they wish to use. Please note that the patient is free to add up to five primary, secondary, tertiary, or quaternary insurance policies by clicking the Add Another Policy button as needed. Policies can also be removed by clicking on the X button for a specific policy. If the patient selects a Medicare provider for a secondary policy, they'll be required to specify their qualification. Policyholder details will be required unless the patient is the policyholder. Once the policies are included, your client can add their signature to the form by entering their name in the Signed By field. 
They can either draw their signature or choose to create a signature from their typed name. Finally, your client can send the completed document back to the practice by clicking Submit Completed Document. Back in your Therapy Notes account, you'll see a new item on your to-do list labeled Process Portal Responses, along with a number next to the item. Clicking on the item will lead you to the Portal Documents section, where you can see that you have a client insurance form that needs processing. You can view the completed document by clicking on the client insurance form or needs processing. With the document complete and the patient's insurance information visible, you can copy the information from the document into the patient's billing settings section. Please note that the information needs to be copied manually for now. Therapy Notes is continuing to work to allow a more direct importation in a future release. Finally, once you've copied over the patient's information, you can complete the document request by scrolling to the bottom of the document and clicking Mark is Processed. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you'd like to see more from Therapy Notes, subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Instagram and TikTok. Thanks for watching.